Drawing realistic portraits may seem daunting at first, but when you know these tips and tricks, you'll enjoy drawing them more. This is the first time I filmed a commission piece in almost its entirety, so let me walk you through my process of creating realistic portraits. To start, you can either lightly trace or use a grid to outline your drawing. This was a special collage of seven subjects to commemorate the life of a border collie named Texas. Once the outlines are drawn, I start shading a layer or two with a 4H pencil to cover up the surface of the paper. While shading, I'm paying attention to tonal value and adding the darkest values possible with this grade of pencil. To get the look of white fur that's pretty much as bright as the color of the paper, try shading around the area and then erasing to reveal highlights. Using a stick eraser is perfect for erasing small areas and also for getting that soft feathered look. Graphite can smudge easily. To prevent that, just place a blank sheet of paper or the clean side of a tissue underneath your palm. Now I'm adding another layer with a 2H pencil, followed by the HB to slowly build tonal value. Have you ever wondered what those numbers and letters on drawing pencils mean? For years, most of the pencils in my set stayed unused because I had no idea what they meant and didn't know how to best use them. H stands for hard, and any pencils marked with H like the 4H, 2H, or HB are ideal for light layers. As you move on to the pencils marked with a B, which stands for bold, you'll notice how easy it is to get those dark values. Keep in mind though that the higher up you go, the shinier your drawing may look with these B pencils. They're soft and smooth, but dark and shiny as well. Now that you know which ones are which, experiment and see which combination best suits your style. I personally like my drawings to look soft and delicate, so I use the numbered B pencil sparingly. There are many types of erasers out there, but stick erasers have become my favorites, like the Pentel Click and Tough Stuff by Papermate. It's a good idea to clean your eraser on a blank sheet of paper to avoid transferring any leftover color and smudging your beautiful drawing. I used to draw portraits with only one pencil, the 2B. But after seeing the results of layering with a combination of H and B pencils, I can't go back to using just one. Colored pencils don't have grades like graphite, so sharpening the tips to a fine point is necessary to get those fine details. These don't smudge as easily as graphite, but they do melt under the warmth of your hand, making it harder to erase off if needed. Just use a sheet of paper under your palm to avoid this. Drawing a realistic portrait in colored pencil is similar to drawing one in graphite. It takes many light layers and blending between them to get that soft look. Drawing in layers is also a test of patience, but the result is well worth the effort. It may be tempting to add details everywhere, but choosing one focal point is best. For portraits, I prefer to keep the eyes sharp and in focus. Blending with the tissue after each layer softens any harsh lines everywhere else. Well, I hope you found these tips and tricks on drawing portraits helpful. Until next time, have fun drawing! If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for new videos every week.